Within MISIS, um, we, our primary focus is consumer and SME digital banking. We, we do have a range of solutions which target uh, digital banking, online banking, mobile banking to be precise, along with personal finance management, uh, gamification modules to incite, entice customers to put money aside for a rainy day. So there's a saving, saving uh, module which we also uh, consider part of the digital banking proposition, as well as a fairly sophisticated digital sales module which basically uh, allow or enables our clients to set up marketing campaigns and try to uh, generate revenue out of digital channels with a very good user experience wrapped around it. All right, so in one sentence, that's our focus. So for example, is it almost like uh, you're kind of wanting to create an Amazon-like experience for digital banking customers? Um, for sure, yeah, exactly. And we like to, we like to do that in a very uh, niche way as well, that, that when you actually interact or engage with your bank as a customer, you go through an experience uh, which is outstanding and you have a good feeling with it. But at the same time, uh, throughout our digital sales module, we also encourage banks to reach out to the customers proactively when they believe they need to talk to the customer because it's an overdraft or because they believe there is a better proposition for them in form of a loan, for example. So we, throughout our application, also enable our clients to do this proactive approach rather than just asking customers to log in to the digital banking solution. So very much in favor of uh, doing that two-way engagement uh, with our clients or with our client's client. I mean, that's quite a big radical change for most traditional banks. How well are they sort of getting to grips with that? I, th I think we're getting there. There are very good examples in terms of challenger banks as well, in terms of well-established banks as well. Uh, particularly here in the UK as well, we've seen a number of banks already in the last couple of years, last three, four years, that they started rolling out uh, solutions and propositions which are really customer-centric. Rather than saying, I have a brilliant mortgage, they talk about you buying a house. Rather than saying, there is a car leasing or a car finance, they say, actually, you want to buy your dream car. So that's the sort of, even the language itself, which we would like to hear from banks rather than talking about their own products. So I think banks are getting a grip of, grip of it. Um, and definitely, there are good and first examples, but I think the industry is going the right way in that sense. So what do you think will be the next, what will the next evolution of digital consumer banking look like, do you think? Um, well, in the last couple of years, of course, the hype is all around wearables. So we've seen already banks rolling that out. Um, it is definitely the next, I'm not saying the big thing, but the next thing which banks are focusing on. We're going to see devices flooding the market, not just in the form of watch, but in sort of in form of wearables and in terms of home appliances, where these sort of Internet of Things will communicate with each other and will communicate with your bank as well. So it starts with the watch, where the watch has notifications on your salary arriving on your account, or you need to pay certain bills, or just a general notification of how, how you're doing financially. And these things will evolve into other variable products as well. The, the other big thing I think which is sort of key in supporting the engagement with the clients is data and the data analytics and data mining, uh, machine learning algorithms, uh, mining the data and also, you know, this is what Amazon is doing very well, how you actually monetize that data and sort of utilize that in your engagements with the customers. I think getting a good understanding of that process is, is also very, very big and going to be the next big thing. Historically, however, I think banks have been sitting on so much customer data that they've really not known what to do or how to leverage that. What's different now? I think it's a, it, it's a technological challenge from, from a certain expect because this data isn't just um, traditional data which you would store in a database or in a relational database. The data here is in various forms and shapes. It might be social data, it might be your location on your phone, it might be communication you've done on a website regarding a banking product or regarding your life cycle, what the event you're going through. So the data isn't in a structured form or way, but there are technologies nowadays where, where you could actually use this data and store this data. Uh, in particular, MongoDB as a database, which isn't a relational database. They, they have ways of 
understanding and storing data in different forms, shape, and making sense out of it. So I think these technologies are fairly new. Mongo itself is just, just recent. And, and these technologies will help banks to actually make sense of that data.